Hi guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another back to school video and that is going to be about apps that I think you need for college. Now, obviously it's really important to have apps that are going to help you throughout college. So I thought it would be a good idea to kind of do a remake of what I did last year and give you new apps and some of the same apps that I found that are really good for college. With all that being said, let me know down below any other back to school videos you want to see because I would love to film them for you all. And with all that being said, be sure to subscribe down below give the video a huge thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know when you go back to school I really love interacting with you all and I will try my best to answer every single comment with all that being said let's get into the video all right so I have a list right here with everything that I think is very beneficial for apps that you need for college so I'm just going to go through them and tell you guys everything that I think you guys should get so the first thing that I think is very important is your school app now for those of you who don't know I go to Seton Hall University and so for me I would have the Seton Hall app. Basically what this allows me to do is it allows me to see my class schedule, it allows me to see things that are going on on campus, and just stuff that I need to know for Seton Hall. So whatever school you may go to, I would definitely recommend getting your school app if they have one. Most colleges do, and I know some high schools do as well. Not as many high schools, but a lot of colleges do have an app. The next app that I have is Forest. Now, Forest is one of my favorite apps ever, especially when it comes to trying to be productive. Please hold I'm getting a call. Okay, before I was rudely interrupted by my friend who called me, I was talking about the app Forest. So Forest is basically an app where you can plant a tree and when you plant the tree, you plant it for a certain amount of time. When you plant the tree for a certain amount of time, you literally cannot leave the app unless you don't want the tree to continue to live and it's really cool because I obviously want the tree to sprout and like get to its best potential. So it's going to push me not to leave the app and if I leave the app, it won't live. So basically what I do is I put a timer on my phone on the app Forest for like an hour and it'll allow me to continue to do my work without actually getting distracted and help me stay productive. So that is one of the best apps ever. The next app I have is Blackboard or Canvas. So some colleges use Blackboard, some use Canvas. It kind of switches depending on which school you go to, but this is important for assignments and keeping up with all your professors and stuff like that. I know some high schools use like Google Classroom. It's basically that, but a college edition. Next, I have Quizlet. Quizlet is superior when it comes to studying. I love Quizlet so much because especially for like accounting definitions, because I'm an accounting major and just definitions in general, it's really important for at least me to use Quizlet because it really really helps me when I'm trying to study and I can just have a flashcard on my device that will allow me to study wherever I am rather than have to like write them out even though I do sometimes prefer to write it out as well. Next I have Chegg. So I like to use Chegg a lot to explain kind of how to do certain problems. If I ever don't know how to do something I will look for other students and classmates that don't know how to do something and some people most likely post it on Chegg and an expert actually answers the problem and they answer it in a way where it not only gives you the answer but it tells you exactly how to do it so it really teaches me and it is really beneficial for studying so I use it a lot for studying. Next I have Google Classroom and Google Drive. So Google Classroom is basically like the high school version of Blackboard and Canvas. That's just what the schools use. Google Drive is something I like to use to store all my documents. I think it's really cool because you could just have everything in one place and I would definitely recommend using a Google Drive account if you can because it literally makes things so much easier and it's auto savable basically what that means if you don't know is it saves your work automatically so if something happens your work is automatically saved next I have Google Docs Google Slides and Google Spreadsheets that's basically the same thing as Google Drive just broke down into basically like a Word document a PowerPoint document and an Excel document but Google form I also have Microsoft Word Excel and PowerPoint it kind of depends on what you want to use this for but but I do either recommend having a Google Drive or a Microsoft account so you can keep all your things in one spot, especially for like essays and stuff like that. Next I have Kahoot. If you guys remember what Kahoot is, I played this all the time growing up in my school and it was so fun. It really taught me a lot when I had to study and I would always look forward to playing Kahoot and it would actually push me to study. So I do sometimes do still use that with my friends to study and stuff like that. Next I have Reminders. Reminders is so important for me because I use the app that comes on my phone and literally all I do is I put reminders of when I need to study, when I need to do certain things, when I have assignments due and everything like that and it literally makes it so 
easy for me to remember like, hey, you have this homework assignment, make sure you do it. I do it and then I like check it off my list and it just feels so nice. It's kind of like a to-do list, but on my phone. Next, I have Spotify and or Apple Music. In college, it is so important, at least for me, to have music downloaded. I love listening to music, especially when doing homework and when studying. I know some people don't like listening to music because it distracts them, but for me, it actually helps me focus. So that's why I put this on here. I really, really recommend listening to music if it doesn't distract you. Next, I have Duolingo slash Google Translate. I am someone who took Spanish a lot in college my first two years, and I absolutely loved it. But at times, there was stuff that I didn't understand or didn't know how to pronounce the right way. And let me just say, Duolingo really, really helped me, and I really recommend it if you are taking another language that you may need help with. Next, I have Desmos. Now, this is more of a graphing app, and it really helps tell you exactly how to graph certain things, which is very beneficial. I don't know about you guys, but growing up and even now, I never know how to graph things, and this really helps me understand how to graph. Next, I have Microsoft Teams slash Zoom. Microsoft Teams is something my school used for college and for like Zoom meetings when we did online school. And I also use Zoom as well for like meetings with my classmates and stuff like that. So it's just a video service that I think is really beneficial for school, even if you are in person. Next is a note taking app. So I have Good Notes and OneNote. Now it depends on which one you want. I personally have Good Notes. I love it. I use it on my iPad and it's like one of the best things ever. So very exciting to use that and make my notes like all pretty and everything. And then the last app that I have on here is iScanner. This is really important because it's important to like scan your papers sometimes and just have them as a backup on your computer or something. And the app literally allows you to scan your paper from your phone and just have it on your phone or your computer because you can airdrop it if you have a Mac. So those are all the main important apps that I thought were very important to talk about in this video because I literally use them all and they are life, life, life changing. With all that being said, if you guys have any other apps, let me know down below because I would love to know which ones they are so we could all like help each other out. That is it for this video. This video was probably a little short, but I just thought I should post this though because it is a quick little video that I feel like will help a lot of people. With all that being said, be sure to enter my giveaway. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye guys.